Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is video editorial for the problem longest substring without repeating characters taken from lead code. So let's see what the problem says. So the problem statement is you are given a string, then find the longest substring without repeating characters. For example, if the input was this ABC, ABC, BB, then the length of the longest substring that you can find where no character repeats is 3. Either it can be ABC, BC or anything, right? You don't have to print the whole substring. You only have to print the size of the longest substring where we can't find any repeating character. So this is the problem statement. So moving on. So expected time complexity, you can start with n log n solution and then you have to optimize it. I mean, you can optimize it to be go of n when you are solving the problem in an interview. Uh, the best thing is to start with the brute force approach then tell them or uh, tell the interviewer that you can optimize it to like n log n and then you can op optimize it to we go of n so we'll see both of these approach okay so let's see how we'll solve this problem so we'll be solving this problem using two pointer methods so i have two pointers l and r r i'm init uh, initializing with minus one and l i'll be initializing with zero okay why is that so see when r is smaller than l that means the range is actually invalid so we will be starting with an invalid range and why r is initialized with minus one because uh, no matter what happens r will be incremented as the first step okay and when that happens the first range you will have as zero zero that will be valid and that should be the starting point that's why i'm having r as minus one mp is actually a map which will keep track of uh, which will keep uh, frequency of each character okay this is a map which will give frequency of each character count is will keeping the uh, will be keeping the count of each invalid character so it will count how many characters are there in your range which is specified by l and r which are actually invalid so what are invalid characters a character whose frequency in the given range is more than one is actually invalid character so this will represent how many character in your range are invalid so when the count is zero for a certain range which is specified by l and r that represents a valid sub array okay a substring you can say that represents a valid substring and hence that can be taken as answer okay and we have to find a substring which is largest in size and is also containing no invalid character so you got the idea right so you will be able to understand it much better when i'll be explaining this with an example test case so don't worry i'll be explaining and uh, taking you through a uh, solution code as well and i'll be explaining this through an example uh, by running it through an example so you will be able to understand it much better so let me tell you or let me explain this whole solution with the help of an example but before that let me ask you one thing have you always dreamt of getting a picture perfect iit package is it your dream to become resident IT person for all tech troubles? All you want is someone to call you up at 3 a.m. and ask you how to fix your laptop keys or set up a new Instagram profile for your grandparents? Your dream may not be that far-fetched. If you want a job that pays par with Sharma Ji, IIT and Beta, you don't have to bring out the big guns. You just need to learn how to work with them. And the big guns in question? These are product based companies like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Cred, ETC. These companies may sound a little out of league, but trust me, nothing is impossible. You can apply to these companies by posting your resume through LinkedIn or Nokri.com. A distant connection might even help you score an interview, but the real question arises now. How do you stand out from the crowd of thousands just like you wanting the same job that you do? This is where Real Level by An Academy comes in. Relevel helps you bridge the gap between experience and skill set by making it easier for companies to find you rather than other way around. The best part is that companies choose to hire people from such platform as it highlights their aptitude and skills. Your college name can never hold you back, not here. By giving Relevel tests, you can skip the tedious job hunting process and get the pay you deserve in all the six figure glory. With Relevel, it's your time to shine, become everything you ever dreamt of. Register for real level test today only for rupees 1999 and the best part is you get 200 rupees off if you use my code CNC10. So now let's get back to our lecture. So how we'll proceed is that uh, we'll keep incrementing R as long as count is equals to zero. That means in our given range L to R there are no invalid characters. If count becomes positive we will keep incrementing L that will reduce the range right and hence reduce the frequency of character which are invalid. So let's continue. 
when you are incrementing r you are basically expanding your range or your substring and that means you are adding extra character in your substring right when you are incrementing l you are basically removing characters from your character set or substring right keep that in mind so now since count is equals to zero we will increment r basically we have added a so frequency of a should increase so frequency of a which was initially zero has become one if frequency of certain character becomes two we will increment the count okay so now we will check whether the count is equals to zero or not yes the count is equals to zero so what we will do we will try to maximize result the result is equals to maximum of one comma this current range current range is containing only one character right so result is equals to max of one comma one which is clearly one so result will become one now again next loop what will happen is that count is equals to zero so you will increment r now we have added b so frequency of b will increment after that we will check whether the frequency of b has become two the answer is no so count would not increment and of course after that we will see uh see whether count is zero or not since count is zero so current range is actually valid range so since the current range is valid range will maximize result to the length of the current right clearly a uh, maximum of one which was earlier result and this is clearly bigger than that so result becomes two now again we will since count was zero i have incremented r frequency of c i have added right now since we have to check uh, uh, since we have incremented or decremented basically frequency of c has changed so we will check whether its frequency has become two or not its frequency has not become two so count will not increment in case of decrease what will happen i'll tell you in a moment so frequency uh, so basically count will not change so we'll come to the point and we'll check whether count is equals to zero or not since count is equals to zero we can maximize result again current uh, current length of the substring is equals to three so result will become three now how is all of this is happening let me explain you with the code so here you see i have two solution right one is uh, let me just increase the font size this one our uh, runtime is 16 millisecond and the other one is having a runtime only four milliseconds uh, you can also see the difference in their memory used okay so this is analog n solution and this is big of n solution okay so what i'm doing i'm using a map because for each character i have to save the frequency of that right and is the size of the of course a string count is equals to zero result you already know lnr you already know so what we are doing here if count is greater than zero right uh, till now we have only seen this case when count is equals to zero so what we do we increment r and then of course when r goes out of boundary we will stop right so we will break out of the while loop otherwise we will increment r and what we will do we will increment the frequency of the character current character right if the frequency of current character becomes two right if frequency of any character becomes two we will increment count right that is exactly what we are doing after either incrementing l or we will either increment l or we will either increment r right and after that we're checking whether count is equals to zero if count is equals to zero result is equals to maximum of result or length of the current substring that is what is happening uh, i have yet to show you this part so let's continue now r will again increment because count was zero so now i'll increment frequency of a now frequency of a has become two now as soon as frequency of certain character or current character becomes two you have to increment the count so now count will become one right we have done this part now we will come here can we uh, uh, maximize result this is what we are checking since count is not equals to zero that means there is at there is at least one character which is invalid that means your whole range is actually invalid so i cannot maximize my result right so we'll continue next time next time what we'll do whether count is zero or greater than zero since the count is greater than zero we will increment l this time here you see since the count is greater than zero we'll increment l this time basically uh, to increment l you have to remove this character so before incrementing l what you will do you will reduce the frequency of current character represented by l so basically remove uh, reduce frequency of uh, of course l has incremented reduce frequency of a right and after that increment l right so what is happening since the frequency of a has changed which was the previous character basically this uh, first of all reduce the frequency of the character oh, oh my God reduce the frequency of the character and check whether the frequency has become one now if the frequency becomes one that means it has changed from two to one that means this character has become valid that means you have to reduce the count so reduce count right after that 
this has done again this process will happen whether i can maximize the cur um, result or not basically current range represented by lr is valid or not so this process we will keep on repeating till r goes beyond n right basically r goes beyond the valid range and then we will stop if if r is equals to n simply break and return the result so to solve this problem we are using map right and insertion uh, in the map takes log n time that's why the complexity is n log n of this solution and that's why we are getting 16 millisecond running time if i show you this solution i'm simply using frequency array so first of all if you don't want to look it and if you want to solve it yourself go ahead and do that uh, try to implement an uh, big of n solution okay so just keep in mind that the s can contain letters digits symbols and spaces as well so keep these things in mind this is very important so if i show you my uh, linear time solution instead of using map what i'm using is integer array of size 100 i'm assuming uh, they can be at max 100 unique character okay because if you combine there are 26 uh, english letters uh, uh, 10 digits only and then certain symbols so they can combine and they will be still less than 100 so instead of you using map i'm simply using integer array for storing their frequency here you can see i've changed nothing simply i'm using frequency array and uh here you see instead of using minus a i'm using minus of empty character which is space why is that so uh, just think about it basically i'm using integer free integer hash math method right to store their frequency integer array to store their frequency instead of using map how is this working and how am i able to translate certain character to a uh, certain integer right how am i able to do that just think about it this is basic hashing okay if you still have some doubt you can ask in the comment session or the people who already know what is happening you can post it down in the comment section your solution that why is this working okay otherwise in the next video i'll take a very small video solution and i'll explain how this is working so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video, rob's keep coding thank you